mascara tutorial because as you guys saw in my I think it was my get ready with me for my birthday party I said it's right here also I said that I would make a mascara tutorial for you guys but I ran out of time so I thought I'd do it today because I'm getting ready again to go to my cousin's celebration thing because he got into um his nursing job or whatever so yeah before i'm video, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel it's free click notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my new or old videos and yeah so now let's get started okay so first of all i use this waterproof lash princess essence um mascara like i mentioned in another video i started off with the original kind um it became to like get dark underneath my eyes which my eyes are already dark because you can probably tell i don't have anything on um but it just made it worse and i didn't like the way that it looked so i changed to a waterproof because i thought it had something to do with the fact that i was rubbing my eyes a lot and stuff so i changed to this one so the first step that i do to doing my um eyelashes is i curl them so i just go like this there's really mascara on top of it, but it's okay. I do like this. One, two, three. And then I like this. One, two, three. Okay. And what I do is I kind of just like start, like, I like shake it like this. Like I'll go, ooh, and then I shake my eye. And then I bring it up like this. You guys can probably tell. You guys can really already see a difference. Like look at the difference in my eyes so i do that and then i like to go like this like i swipe my eyelashes like this way because i want like the inside of them like the ones that are like closer to my nose to point it up towards like the ceiling and then you go one two three and then you take your wand and you just spread them back out like this Like, look at the difference, y'all. Obviously, as you guys can probably tell, I'm getting the, ma the mascara all over my top of my eyelid. Common problem for me. But I just take some makeup remover, put it on a Q-tip, and just rub up there. Or I have these baby wipes, which I never thought that baby wipes would, like, do anything. But it really helps my face. So, yeah. So, I just recommend, like I said, just going with this, like, going with this. Like, so, if... This is my left eye. I go to the left side and just go like this, kind of like pull it over here. And then I'd take it like this again, point it to the ceiling and go like one, two, three. And then I just bring it up. And sometimes I can get clumpy. I really don't have like a whole, oh my God, look at that. It almost clumpy right there. Oh, there you go. I don't have like a remedy or whatever to help it like to go away like the clumps i just say if it's you have a clump on your eyelash like while they're still like wet just like take your wand like wipe off some of the mascara on the wand and just help get the clumpiness out so and also for a long time i was using this stuff i still recommend it actually it's still like a really good product it is just a professional natural lash this was actually what i could originally wear before i could wear mascara which i got to wear mascara like two years ago it looks pretty bad right now but it's just a clear wand it's pretty dirty but you just put this on before to help like spread out your eyelashes and then it should help them not like stick together and clump but i'm in a rush and this is just what i do every day so i sit here i kind of let them dry if i feel like they need another coat i'll apply another coat on and yeah so like i said you don't be perfect on doing your eyelashes because the mascara will make them look good regardless as long as like you don't you're like horrible and you make them clumpy and stuff but like look at the difference y'all it makes them look so long so pretty also i want to mention that i use um a cover girl lash serum and eyebrow serum serum whatever um this has really been helping my eyelashes this adds volume and lash effect to my eyes already but my eyelashes are really small i mean we're really short <laughs> And um, every single time I put the mascara on, this is weird. Like, I would, like, take my um, two fingers, take the mascara off like this, and just rub it together. I never used a wipe to get them off. Like, I was like, oh, you know, let me just use this to take them off. And then I'd 
just basically just pull it off my eyelashes would break off with it so it seemed like it's about time to go so i'm gonna show you guys how i take the stuff off my eyelids <laughs> i use the panthers baby wipes i've been using these my entire lives since i was born and i just got it on them so what you do so like you can like take your finger through it and you just wipe the top of it and since it's work with mascara if you were to use water, like if you were to do for like the original one, it won't work. So you would just go like this, top your eyelashes, like it's not like barely anything there. And you just go like this, you just go like this and just continue to get it off. Of course, like I said, sometimes it's gonna clump up because I just rubbed it on top of my eyelid. Yeah, top of my eyelashes look good guys. So I'm hopefully, this tutorial helped y'all with y'all's mascara. Okay guys, hopefully this helped out with y'all's mascara tutorials. I bet this whole, like the whole shaking your eyelash thing has been around for a while now. But like when I was like first, you know, getting to know how to do it and stuff, I kind of wish I had like a person that would like show me how, you know, their mascara and stuff. Like there's always these little shorts where they like do fast, but I think just sitting down and talking to y'all about it is a lot better. Um, so yeah. Just buy, if you guys want to do this, buy an eyelash curler. Waterproof mascara. You don't have to buy waterproof. You can buy whatever kind you want. There's volumes out there. There's the original kind. And there's other kinds I have. And then just buy wipes. I recommend these ones. Basic wipes. So yeah, hopefully this helps. Like I said, I would have loved to have a person who would have like sat down and explained it to me when I first started wearing my mascara. But you know, you there's always a first time for everything. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.